Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of these given figures one at a time. And one of these figures is a yellow rectangle that consists of four identical squares, whereas the other figure is a green square. And both of these regions are inscribed in identical semicircles. Let's go ahead and get started. And we are going to focus on this yellow rectangle first. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has all four angles measuring 90 degrees. That means this angle is going to be 90 degrees. And let me go ahead and call this center of this semicircle as C. And this point I am going to call P. And this point I am going to call an A. And now we can see that this is the radius. I am going to call it R. And here is our much nicer looking graph. Now let's focus on these individual squares. And we know that the square has all equal sides. Let me go ahead and call this side x. So all these sides going to be x over here and x over here. Now let's consider this triangle CAP. And we know that this is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Therefore, but for this uh, right triangle CAP, our this longest leg C, we're going to call it C equal to R. And I'm going to call this side A. A is going to be X plus X is going to become 2X. And this side I'm going to call B, which is X. And here is our Pythagorean formula, A square plus B square equal to C square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, A is 2x. So let me just put down 2x and then square plus B in our case is x. So it's going to be x square. And in our case, C is r. So it's going to become r square. And now let's go ahead and simplify so that is going to give us 4x square plus x square equal to r square. So that's going to give us 5x square equal to r square. That means x square is going to be simply r square divided by 5. And here's the area of a square formula. A equal to s square where s represent each side of a square and in our case each side of a square is x so therefore the area of this each square is going to be x square and now we know that we have one two three four of these squares therefore the total area is going to be four time this area that is going to become 4x square and we know that x square equal to r square divided by 5 let's go ahead and replace that x square by r square divided by 5 so that means our total area is going to be equal to 4 r square divided by 5 and here is our next step let's focus on this green square as you can see in this figure and we know that this square has equal length and each side interior angle is 90 degree so that means this angle is 90 degrees and one more thing let's call this center of the semicircle as c and this point i'm going to call it point q and this point i am going to call b and let's go ahead and connect uh, these point Q and C. So that is going to be our radius R. And here is our much nicer looking graph. And now let's assume that each side of this square is 2x. That means this side is 2x, this side is 2x, 
this is 2x and this is 2x as well. So the length of this CB is going to be the half of this 2x that is going to be x. Now let's consider this triangle QBC and we know that this is a right angle triangle. Therefore we are going to use Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. So let's look at this triangle. This longest leg c is going to be our r and I'm going to call this side a which is going to be x and this side I'm going to call b which is going to be 2x. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case a is x so it's going to become x square plus b in our case is 2x so that's going to become 2x square equal to in our case c is r so it's going to become r square so we got x square plus 4x square equal to r square that means 5x square equal to r square that means our x square is going to be simply r square divided by 5. And here is the area of a square formula a equal to s square where s represents the side of a square. In our case each side is 2 x. So therefore the area of this green square is going to be simply 2 x and then square that is going to give us 4 x square. And now we know that this x square is equal to r square divided by 5. Let's go ahead and replace this x square by r square by 5. So I can write 4 times we, let's go ahead and replace that one. That's going to give you r square divided by 5. So that means our area is going to be 4 r square divided by 5. Here is our final step. We found out that the area of this yellow rectangle turns out to be 4 r square divided by 5 and also the area of this green square turns out to be a 4 r square divided by 5. So therefore we conclude that they have the same area. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.